Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can create a group in Microsoft Teams. Now, what we will do with that group? So, you can do a group chat, you can do group call. So, let's say you are an organization where you want to uh, do a, a group call with your team members, with uh, let's say it's a development team or it's a entirely for your project team. So you can create a group and then you can uh, chat with them, you can uh, do a group call to take the status or anything. So we will see how we can create that uh, group. Basically we will cover uh, how to create a group in Teams, uh, how to make the group chat, group call, uh, how we can uh, give a good name for the team, uh, team group and then how we can share files, how we can add a tab uh, over there in the group and then how we can add people how we can remove users from that uh, teams group and then we will also see how we can uh, use features like hide pin mute uh, the team group and then uh, also i will show you how we can save a group chart history in microsoft teams and then how we can uh, create a group group chart in microsoft uh, teams app as well so last one teams app i will not be able to show that but i'll put the link uh, here where i have written an entire uh, a blog post for the same and there you will get the screenshot and the steps how we can create a group chat in microsoft teams uh, app as well that's for android so now uh, let me uh, open the teams app first of all Okay, before that, if you are a site owner or a power user, then you can look at our training. So I have a training for those SharePoint site owners or the power users. Uh, basically, these are the out of box features um, where I have explained and uh, you can see here, these are the modules. So uh, there are seven modules on that. It includes Power BI, Power Ops and Power Automate as well. So you can have a look at this. I'll put the link in the video description. So now, uh, by this time, I hope you have already uh, installed Microsoft Teams app in your Windows machine. This is a Windows 10 machine and I have installed on that on this machine. And uh, uh, so you can see here Microsoft Teams and click on open. So once you will click on open, then it will open your Teams and uh, there you can create. So first of all, uh, Microsoft Teams is the collaboration tool that will help uh, to integrate with people. You can share content and you can uh, share tools with uh, for an organization. And you can do chat, meetings, video conferences, calls, and also you can collaborate with your team members or your, uh, in your organization as well as people even outside the organization. So you can even do a call to the anonymous users or uh, those users who are who doesn't have a office 365 uh, subscription so recently i wanted to do a actually uh, uh, do a group chat or a group call for the everyday status for our team members and uh, for that I, I i created a group in the teams and then uh, that's what i am going to show you here uh, if you have not installed, then I will suggest you can go through the link that I have put it in the in the video description. You can go through what is Teams app and then how you can download install uh, Teams app in your local machine as well. So uh, what I will do here is, if you'll see here, this is uh, you, you have activities tab, you have a uh, chat, Teams, calendar, calls, everything, every tab is there here. And you can go to, uh, you can see here, click on chat and then uh, you can see here, this, this is the icon where it is saying new chat. Uh, even you are in other, uh, other uh, uh, tab, so you can see here, you'll, the same uh, new chat app is there, the option is there. So not necessarily you have to go to the chat, um, uh, this, this icon, but you can click on this new chat option and you can see here, now it, by default it is showing new chat and then you can put the name, uh, email address or the group or tag, something like that. So I will, let's say, I will put the uh, tag, the members here. Uh, you can see here, I uh, put the members and uh, then if we'll if we'll see here um it will actually uh, you can see here it is creating a group um 
previously also uh, uh, there is there is a group which I have created and it is showing uh, that group details as well because these are the same people that I have added. Um, you you can use the same people or you can uh, you can take any other people as well if you are uh, doing a different uh, different chat. Uh, you, anytime you can just click over here and then you can provide a group name here. For example, in this case, I will say developer team. Um, and now it will become a, a new team here. You can see here if I'll just come out um, or you, you, you can uh, see here it is just taking I'll just click on enter and then you can see here now this is a developer uh, team is there. So uh, if you have multiple people you have already created groups with the same uh, name same people then it will auto suggest uh, like it it, it showed us this thing but you can anytime give a new name and you can have a different group as well and once you have this then you can actually this is the chat box where you can uh, uh, chat you can start uh, typing and then you can use other features as well so you can use the attach file option you can use the emojis you can if you can use uh, if we can you if even you can schedule a meeting with the team so these are a few things which you can um, which you can add and simply if i will write something then uh, this will actually uh, go to both the users and uh, the both the users can see the chat. now once you have this chat you can actually do a group call uh, from here you can do either a video call you can do a audio call here uh, where both the people can get the notification and they can join the call apart from that also you can share uh, your screen so you can see here this is the button where you can share the screen uh, with the users so that uh, they will be able to uh, see the uh, 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 see the details or see your screen whatever you are saying uh, anytime if you want to uh, change uh, the uh, name then you can see here there is an edit icon so just click on that and then you can add something here for example I'd say developer teams and then you can just save and the uh, chat name is uh, you can see here it has been changed. This is really helpful uh, to give a different name when you have uh, if you have if you are trying to interact with multiple uh, groups you have uh, different different groups you have you wanted to interact then this will be helpful. Apart from that, you can uh, share the file with the users. For example, if you'll see here, uh, this uh, files tab, so you can just click on this and then you, you can actually share it. So if you'll see here, I have share button, so you can click on this and then it will show you actually you can upload from your computer or from OneDrive let's say i'll upload from uh, from the computer and then i'll go to the desktop uh, i'll go to here i can you can see here i'll just upload this and you can see here uploading this and this file will be uploaded to your uh, to your sharepoint and, and then you can see here this file has been shared now so if i'll go back to the chat tab you can chat tab you can see here now this file has been shared with both the users so this way you will be able to share from your local system apart from that also here you can see here there is an attach button in the chat uh, area so you can just click on this you will get both options and from here also you can directly select the file and then click on this icon send icon then the file will be shared with both the users and uh, there is one more feature that you can do is even when you are interacting with your groups then you can actually add tab into that group so for example in this case if i'll click on this plus icon then here you can add the tab and in this particular case for example i want to add the stream so where i have videos on this so if i'll click on that then it is actually showing me um, what you want to uh, display here so for example i can uh, select a video i can select a channel i think there is a video which is called at what is sharepoint something like this you can see here what is sharepoint online uh, this is the video and it is saying that what will be your tab name so suppose i will give uh, the tab name as tutorials and i will click on save so once you click on save uh, then there is a tutorial tab has been added and it is having the video that uh, that is there in the microsoft teams uh, streams and then uh, stream and then you can able to see this now this is what you can also add tab into that particular group uh, now if you want to add team members into that you can see here there is 
uh, we want to add participants so if you'll actually click here you'll be able to see the members here who are the member and then there is an option where he's saying add people and then leave so if you want to leave the group you can click here you will leave from leave from that particular uh, group and if you want to add people so you can select it and then you can add actually people here for example let's say i will add one more people here and uh, then there is an option where it is actually uh, telling us to save the chat history so the first option it is saying do not include chat history the second one if you will select for example it will say include history from the past this many number of days for example i want to store last seven days or if you want to include all chat history then you can keep this information and uh, this sometimes actually this do not allow directly to do this you have to add a people and then that time uh, this option will be enabled so you can just click on add and then the uh, user has been added here so this is how we can add people now if i'll go back again and uh, then you can see here uh, if i'll go to add people again if i'll try to actually save the uh, chat history here it is not allowing me so anytime you, you have to add it and then uh, you will be able to uh, add the uh, uh, people here and then that time you can save um, uh, the chat history here if you want to remove any people for example i'll go here i want to remove this people i can simply click on the remove icon or the delete icon you can see here i removed and uh, similarly you can remove other people you can see here uh, but the last people uh, if if it is not there you can see here you will not be able to see the cross icon for this user because we just only two people now are there from this uh, on this group so you will not be able to uh, remove users from this anytime you can uh, um, pin this uh, chat group so for example okay, if you'll come here okay one more feature i'll tell you that you can actually pop out the chat so you can see here now if you will see it is actually uh, now in, it, it is in a pop-up window and here also you can edit this you can edit the group name you can see the people you can see the, you can do the chat here so this is just a pop-up of the chat group whatever we are doing here and uh, anytime you can just simply click on this triple dot and you will be able to see other features as well for example you can pin it so once you pin it actually it will come here in the pin so that anytime you can quickly access this one and if you want to unpin it you can see here unpin and then it will go it will go away from there similarly you can hide the chat if you do not want to see it you can hide the chat you can mute it so that you will not get the notification as well apart from that also you can click on uh, mark on uh, mark as on it so this will not be visible uh, to this uh, to this uh, to this users whenever you will come here uh, this will be sorry this your chat will be mark as on it so this way we we can able to do a group chat um, we can do we can able to do a group call as well and uh, i hope you, it, you will it will be useful for you and i'll put the uh, blog post url where you can see how the same thing you will do in the android app as well so um, i'll put that link here so if you like our videos kindly subscribe to our channel you will get a lot of free videos on office 365 sharepoint online teams uh, your power apps uh, uh, power bi flow all these things spfx you will get a lot of videos on that these are our, our websites to visit us and then this is our twitter handles linkedin and facebook pages so thank you and have a nice day